Hello guys, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now, in the last tut few tutor last two tutorials, we were showing how to make simple plots, simple one-dimensional plots, and how to make plots such that uh, you have when you have two x axis when you have two x axis but a single y axis or two y axis but a single x axis and all. Now, uh, one thing is that uh, Python uh, allows you the option of superimposing the plots. Okay, so let me look. Let me look at cases where uh, superimposing the plots is very advantageous and disadvantages. Okay, now the thing is, question. So the question is, what if I superimpose the plots? Well, the obvious reason is that. Well, the obvious reason is that sometimes it can. This can turn out to be confusing or messy. Since the values are not separated in different axes. So as a consequ and consequence, what happens is that the data gets consolidated in the range. Okay, one axis will have certain set of data, other axis will have another set of data. So what happens is that in the in the net result, net plot, in the cons in the final plot you'll get when you, when you superimpose them, all the the values in all the axes they combine together form to form a con one single consolidated range, and then they print and then they uh, print it and then the con and then they get uh, displayed. Consequently, because of that, sometimes the plots can be very messy or confusing or not so proper. Okay, now for instance, let's plot uh, let's plot these two. Let's plot pressure and pressure versus altitude, and then saturation vapor pressure versus altitude. Okay, copy. Let me copy all this. Let me okay. Let me paste it here. Okay. Now watch. What I'm doing. Okay. Now I'm doing. Okay. What I'm doing is that. If I plot this. Now I'm what I'm is, what I'm doing is I'm plotting the pressure on the y-axis, and uh, altitude on z-axis. Okay. Now this looks fine in red color. Now what I do is that. Uh, I pl uh, let me plot. E S, comma Z, comma with blue color. Okay, saturation vapor pressure with the respect uh, on the x-axis, altitude on the y-axis, and blue with blue color. If I print, if I print enter, okay. What will happen is what you may what will ha what happens is that you see this blue line over here. This is this corresponds to the saturation vapor pressure. This second plot, whereas this red red color red red curve over here corresponds to the first plot. So what you notice is that the ranges get consolidated. This, the first one, uh, if you just look at the variable explorer, okay, if you look at ES, uh, the small, uh, lowest value is close to one, it's little little below one, as the highest value is close to 4,350. 4, so you have, the range here is approximately 4,000, 4, something, so that's how the range is, that's how the y-axis range is, I mean x-axis range is if you go by this way, whereas for your pressure, where is that, yeah, for your pressure, the lowest value is, the lowest value is something like 18,975, whereas highest value is uh, 100,000, that's 100,000. So you have a really big range over here and a small range of really a big range in pressure and a large range in a small a small range in ES relatively on a relative basis. So what happens in the plot is that they get consolidated. As a consequence, okay, the second plot turned out to be not so good. Not so good. Whereas the first plot turns out to be okay. The plus plot is good. And it's not losing any characteristic feature, but the second plot turns out to be not so good. Okay, and that is what you'll have over here. See that if if you see the ranges get consolidated, and it's and for this kind of value, it's not a it's not a good idea. However, the exception is that if the ranges are the same on both axes, uh, the superimposition is the best way and simple way. How? Watch. If so, where is superimposition good is when the ra data ranges are identical or same or compatible, then superimposition avoids a lot of trouble. For instance, if you look, if you just plot E versus E S versus and Z and E versus Z, look at let's see what happens. Okay, 
now uh, your e is from between the range 2600 to close to zero close to zero that's the that's where your e is whereas your e s is between little little below one and up to 4350 okay now if you look at the ranges the ranges are kind of compatible one range is in other and something okay this way here if you plot them it might be easy uh, plot plot es comma z comma blue color okay let me give red color for this and then label label i gave it es okay now the plot is like this okay now the plot is like this not bad now what i do is that uh, i change i make it e i make it e here and i set the label to be e and instead of red color let me give this blue color using this option okay press enter the plot has been made if you look at the plot there you have it now this red is e s and this e blue is e and now if you guys notice here the ranges are the ranges are consolidated but the plot looks pretty at least reasonably pretty pretty now uh, if you guys look at that for this range it makes sense and for this range it makes sense this way if you if your ranges are compatible in the axis not superimposition are very easy instead of extracting the axis and customizing it to make sure that everything is neat this is much much easier to do isn't it now that's about uh, super, that's about uh, superimposition of plot su superimposition of plots and when to use when not to use that okay just a sample bit of it okay In the next tutorial we will be looking at uh, how to make plot how to make your plots a little more fancy okay that's thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next tutorial